So Mondo, really just talking about um, the Born to Fly documentary, if that's okay, and the reaction uh, to it. You know, how's the journey been with that? Because, you know, the film crew have been with you for such a long time. And then what was the reception like in Sweden when it came out? Yeah, I would say it's good reception. Uh, I would say that the, you know, the, the, the people that watch it and enjoyed it and it was able to be in uh, for a few weeks and, you know, cinemas all over Sweden so I think that's a that's a pretty cool thing it's pretty you know not so usual for just documentaries to be in like the the big theaters so uh that, that was a really cool thing and uh it's nice it's it's nice that it's just finally here and it's kind of over <laughs> I'm uh like it, it's feels like it was it was just never gonna end and it start we started in 2017 and you know wow. now it basically just just got finished and so it just feels like a, a lifetime when it started so uh it's 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 a really cool thing really special it's something that you know you always have to look back on which is a which is a really cool thing that not everybody gets to i was about to say obviously like track and field fans like know you but how was it to get kind of your story out there amongst kind of the general public in sweden as well yeah i mean it's it's not i don't know i think it's great uh i think it's it's maybe i think it's a lot of it's it's focused the the documentary on trying to kind of like hit an audience of people outside of track fans and i think it's trying to just be more of like rather than it just being a track story or being a pop-up story it's more of just a like a a story about this this kid that had these super huge dreams and and followed it went all in on it and ended up trying to do it and kind of just the the road the road to get there whether it's good or bad you know being a just being a teenager whether it's you know being immature, making wrong decisions, making the right decisions in some places, and and uh, kind of e everything that makes up to to the path to to where I where I am now, and so uh, I think that's that, that's kind of the plan for them. And when they're gonna release it internationally, which I I don't I don't, I don't have an answer on on, <laughs> on when that'll be or, or where what platform it'll be on, but uh, ho hopefully soon we'll know. I was about to say I mentioned it in the press conference about like seeing you in the backyard as a kid huh. with the poles, like that journey from there to what you've done now. I mean, like you've completed the sport essentially at 23, mm. like you've done everything. <laughs> That's just, that must be surreal to think about in, in that sense. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I mean, I, I'm super grateful. I'm super grateful for the position that I'm in and uh, for everything to work out the way that it has. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of people that are talented enough and that, that were good enough to, to win the things that I've, I've been able to win, you know, you look at somebody like Renault who, who was never able to claim a, a world outdoor title and I mean to say he wasn't good enough to do it is just silliness. I mean he was he was good enough every year that they had a world championships. It's just, you know, a lot of unfortunate things happened, got unlucky and in, in, in a few jumps and you know, things things happen like that in sports and so I think those kind of things you just kinda of make me reflect on everything that's happened the past few years and like how how well it's all lined up for me. It's like you get you gotta be pretty grateful. And just funny for me, like you were that kid, like dreaming and looking at other athletes who went before you. Now, you know, the next gen, hmm. uh, they're going to be looking at you and hmm. thinking that they want to be the next pole vault superstar. And you, you said it like it's a quirky, kind of exotic hmm. kind of sport, which has that differential feel to it. Um, how do you think about that when you, you know, I guess when you reflect, you know, you've won what you've won, but then you think, oh, actually, that person on TV might be watching me and thinking, I want to be the next Monday. Yeah, it's a little bit funny to think about, <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I guess that's a, you, you hope that you can be an inspiration to, to some people. And um, you know, I, I think I think that what we do in public, it, it, it is a, a truly, it's a really beautiful sport. And it, it's a very complex sport that, um, you know, when when you, when you started, there's, there's so many different ways to be good at it. And I think that, you know, there's a, a lot of things. I mean, it is, of course, very physical, but there's a lot of ways to, to be good no matter what, as far as just, you can, you can put in a lot of work in pole vaulting and, and become pretty, pretty solid at it. Just one of these, one of those kind of events. And so, um, you know, I, I hope that, you know, me, me jumping well and uh, me trying to push the barrier on what's possible in this event, I hope that can inspire people to try to start pole vaulting.